so in this video we will have a quick uh, look over the rapid minor uh, functions which we have uh, for pca that is principal component analysis uh, so uh, this is a simple thing you know like uh, this is a polynomial data set which you have uh, yeah so there are one two three four five different attributes and there is a label column so this is what your data set is all about so here there is an operator called PCA. So at the operator section, if you if you simply type PCA, you have different type of PCA available here. So you have a normal one and you have a PCA kernel and single value decomposition. So here we have used this uh, PCA kernel. Okay. And uh, once you click over to it, you could see that, you know, there are various options here for this. So in our Gaussian combination, sigmoid, polynomial, all this in that we are just trying to take radial and we are setting the kernel as 1. So accordingly, we could change the kernel. <coughs> so when you run this application, okay, uh, you could see the various, uh, the components basically generated here. Okay, so this is what you could see. And uh, mm, here you could uh, also see the various statistics. So there is no missing values and everything. The visualizations is possible right so all those things are available so this is a simple uh, 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 PCA you know which we could do and then um, we have um, another um, another example so where uh, okay so where we are taking the sonar data set okay so this is a second example so in this particular example, we are basically taking the data sets which are already available over there. So it is a sonar data set. Okay. So in this sonar data set also, you have got, uh, you know, various uh, uh, attributes here that the rock and the mine and all those stuff. And there are uh, almost kind of 60 regular attributes. Okay. There are 60 attributes available here. So uh, uh, there is no major missing values here. So this is the distribution of the data. You could see that so this is how your data is almost kind of distributed and uh, <clears throat> initially when you see so here you are trying to uh, select uh, the attributes okay so here we have selected all the attributes so we have not considered any particular filter here now uh, and you are applying the PCA and here the PCA is basically the normal PCA and uh, here uh, you have taken the variance okay you have kept the variance and if you are basically selecting the fixed number you can actually select the number of the components here okay so here I, we are selecting the variance so that means that we are keeping the variance threshold as 95 percent okay so that is what it is or else you could also specify say you have 60 attributes you can specify a fixed number and you can give the number of the components as well and uh, uh, and then you are basically applying the model using the apply model uh, operator from here and uh, you have this is your original value so this original value is basically passed over to uh, passed over here okay so and uh, the uh, pre model okay uh, uh, this is the processed model that has been applied to this particular model and you are actually getting the output here so this is what it is so when you run this uh, you could see that uh, it is actually reduced to 17 attributes Okay, so this model basically reduced automatically to 17 attributes and there were 60 attributes. It has been now, you know, uh, reduced to 70 attributes and uh, uh, this you have already seen. So uh, in your, if you have already seen the R studio uh, uh, explanation, you would have already seen this. So you have got 17 different, you have various attributes here. So there are, you know, if there are 60 dimensions or 60 attributes, basically 60 principal components will be generated. And in that, okay, uh, for the model, basically they have actually selected 17 attributes or 17 principal components, okay. And here you could see uh, almost 74 percentage of the, uh, this is the standard deviation for the PC1, uh, what is the standard deviation for each and everything that is actually given. And this proportion of variance is that 32 percent of the data has been incorporated for uh, the calculation of PC1. And this is the cumulative so you could see that so when you uh, sort it basically you could see which pc uh, you know so uh, this just shows that you know the pc1 has got the maximum information which is incorporated so 74.8 uh, 
and uh, these are the eigen vectors which you could see so for all the uh, uh, attributes these are the uh, these are the uh, eigen vectors that has been calculated and this is the plot of the cumulative uh, variance so you could see that so after a certain state so out of the 16 attributes you know uh, from almost kind of 17 okay there is no major change so that's why actually they have taken the value 17 so this is kind of your elbow plot but yeah so this helps you to understand how many uh, how many principal components has to be taken right so mm, that's all about this particular thing so uh, this is a simple example which shows you okay how the data has to be so uh, this is what i wanted to show you last time so this is like select attributes so in the select attributes you have actually this is the example set so that is actually connected to the example set in pca and here you have got uh, the original data table so that original data table has been connected to uh, uh, the apply model the unlabeled data and uh, here this is uh, basically your pre-processing model that is actually connected to the applied model so uh, this is this is where so this connections has to be perfect that is what i wanted to tell you and this apply model is basically connected to the output and uh, this label uh, <coughs> the data has been connected so that that means that you will have two outputs here from this data so that's what you could see here in the uh, output as well so this is your original data if i close that you have two different uh, uh, values so these are the eigen values and these are the apply model data which helps you to identify that is out of the 60 you can take six, 17 attributes so that is a kind of the dimensionality reduction which has happened here okay and um, yeah, here we have actually taken all the attributes. If you want to take the subset of attributes, that is also possible that you can try uh, during the lab. Okay, and now I will just quickly take you through uh, the next one. So the next process is uh, I want you to see uh, about uh, data that is serial data. Okay, so in this, so this is another example. This is another example where we we have taken this uh, serial data and uh, so this is how the data look like so it has got name mfr type calories protein so all these attributes are there so you have actually taken that data okay and you are converting the nominal values to numeral values so uh, basically you have taken a subset and whichever be the uh, nominal data that has been converted into uh, numerical data so when you say take the data you could see this is this name okay uh, so this has been taken this MFR has been taken this type has been taken so this three are the uh, attributes which has got nominal values or categorical values that has been converted into nominal values here and uh, we have taken the PCA so in the PCA we have actually uh, kept the variance with 0.5 and the original uh, output has been connected to the unlabeled data and the pre-processed output has been of the model has been connected to the uh, apply model so this is what we have done and we will have two different uh, output as well one is the labeled data and the model uh, so by doing this uh, you could see uh, so there are 16 principal components okay so here if you see okay there are uh, 16 okay so uh, you could see that there are 16 attributes so 16 uh, principal components has been selected okay and you could see the eigenvalues here, eigenvectors here, which has been calculated, and the cumulative variance also can be seen here. Okay. And now in the apply model, you could see that finally we have actually taken on Lee. So that is what the beauty of this apply model comes. So when you apply the model, it just takes the required one. So out of 16 attributes, now we are taking only four principal component components which has incorporated most of the data or useful information out from the data right so that is what is uh, seen here so we have taken one two three four so these are the four different data uh, uh, principal components that has been taken okay so by using this cumulative proportion of variance that is a uh, th that is very helpful because the cumulative uh, proportion of variance will have the cumulative value okay say if uh, two uh, principal components are taken together how many information how much of information from the original data would have been taken by three a principal components you know how much of uh, almost 80 to 85 percent of the data has been taken so say so when you when you go over here so the overfitting happens there is no major change so we don't have to take that so when you reduce to uh, four attributes itself you know most of the useful information from the data has been covered 
right? So that is what is understood from this particular thing. So that's how we select the number of the principal components, right? And uh, now we need to see one more, um, uh, you know, uh, example. So that is nothing but, uh, uh, okay, with the normalization. So we have, we can actually in our, uh, we can actually see the normalization, okay, how the standardization or the normalization has been done, all right? So that is what actually is seen here. So we have taken the same serial data and we have normalized it. So we have normalized it by using the set uh, set score uh, transformation that is x minus mu by sigma. So that is nothing but your set score normalization. And uh, then we have again converted it to nominal. All the others, all, all the same. So when you compute this, okay, when you compute this, uh, you could see that uh, in the apply model, only one, you know, uh, attribute is required. So that is uh, how you should understand. So when you normalize the data out from the 16 attributes, okay, even if you take the principal component one alone, okay, that, uh, uh, that, so it is like, you know, out from 16 dimensions, you have reduced it to one dimension without losing much of the information. So that's how you have to understand. And uh, 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 that is the beauty of the normalization, okay, which you could understand. Okay. And if you see that even if you, if you, if you see this particular diagram, so this is your first uh, PC1, this is PC2. Okay. So this is how it is breaking. So wherever it is breaking, just before that you could stop. That means, you know, with PC1 itself is just enough. Okay. That itself will give you most of the information. So that is what, how you under, you can understand from the values. Okay. So this is one another example. And then there is uh, one more small example which I could show you, okay? And uh, that is by using the inbuilt data set, IRIS data set, okay? So it is the uh, principal component analysis which we are doing by using the IRIS data set. So I just wanted to introduce you with this multiply operator. So this multiply operator, say I'm just taking this connection out. I'm just taking this connection out. So this, what does this multiply operation does? So multiply operation, if I click on here, okay, the multiply operation basically just uh, gives you, um, yeah, so one second. So it just gives you uh, uh, the, you know, it, it will duplicate the data, that's all, okay. It will simply duplicate the data, that is what it is done, okay. So you could see that, okay. So by this multiply operation, you will simply multiply or duplicate the same data set. So you can have a comparison like, you know, this output is nothing but your original output and this is your PC output. Okay, here we are not applying any model or anything. We are just trying to compute the PC, how many PC ones, you know, all the PC ones values and eigenvectors will be calculated here. That's all we are doing here. So uh, here, if you try, you could see that. Uh, so this is your original data set. This is your original data set and this is your PCA. Okay, so in from the original data set, that means from the four different attributes, you have basically uh, formed, uh, you know, PC1 and PC2. So uh, it's like you had uh, four different dimensions, you have reduced it to two different dimensions. 